Previously on Geek TV, we discussed adding all of your Docker endpoints into one Portainer UI using the Portainer Edge Agent. That's this video here. However, today I'll be showing you guys how to do that using your Synology NAS. Yes, you can connect to your Synology NAS with the Portainer Edge Agent. It's a little different than the previous way of doing it because you do have to change one of the volumes, but that's it. No more installing Portainer on your Synology NAS, which you can do as well, and that is also a little tricky. This just makes it easy. So a long time ago, I created this video on how to install Portainer on a Synology NAS. It's kind of a headache, there's a big process and a way of doing it, but assuming you have a different host you can use for Portainer, using the Portainer Edge Agent is much less of a headache and far easier, in my opinion, to get up and running. And one thing that's important to mention is when installing Portainer, make sure you also use port 8000 because that is what the Edge Agent uses to connect all of your endpoints. But like I said earlier, all we're going to do is just change one volume setting to get this to work with Synology. And what we'll do is we'll go into endpoints. We will go ahead and create a new one by clicking add endpoint. Now we will click on edge agent towards the top here. I'm going to just give this a name of Loki because that's the name of my Synology NAS that I'm going to be connecting to. I'm going to change this to my network group because that's the group I'm putting it in that I created just because I know that all of those particular endpoints are on my network. I will click add endpoint. And then up here towards the top, I'm going to click on Docker Standalone. Down here where it says Public IP, I'm going to go ahead and put the IP of my Synology NAS. This does not need to be put in here in order for it to work, but it just makes things easier in the future. And for whatever reason, Synology wants to be different. They want to put their volumes in a different location on the NAS. That's okay. So we're going to change this line here to look like this down here. I have all this stuff documented and all of this information will be in the description below but I'll do my best to describe this and it's not very difficult. So now back here in the endpoint details, let's go ahead and copy this command and we'll put it into a notepad. And it's important that you're copying this from your endpoint dashboard in Portainer because if you're copying this from a tutorial, it's not gonna have your edge key or ID. So you wanna make sure you copy it from here. Okay, so go ahead and just paste it into a notepad and we're going to be changing this right here to match that of Synology NAS. So I'm just going to come in right here and I'm going to back up to right there, I'm going to do a slash volume one, and then at docker, and then I'll leave the volumes in there because that's where the Synology NAS stores your volumes. And now the edge agent will be able to find your volumes when you go to add this command in to your SSH. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna SSH into our Synology NAS to paste in the command. So let's go ahead and open a command on Windows. If you're on Linux, you'll just use a terminal. And we will just SSH into our Synology NAS. SSH, geeked is my username, at loki.local. You can just put your IP there. And then you'll hit enter, and you'll be prompted to put your password in. Put your password in, and once you're SSH'd in, you can put the command in. So let's go ahead and grab this and copy it. Then we'll go to our command. I'm gonna type in one word before, because I'm not logged in as root. I'm gonna type in sudo, and then I'm going to right click, add the rest of that, what I just copied, and we're going to run this. Put your password in again. Couldn't find it, so it's gonna pull it down. It's going to install the agent. and it is done that quickly. So simple, so easy. Now all that's left to do is go back to your Portainer host dashboard, click on update endpoint, and we will go back to our main dashboard on Portainer, and you will see your newly added Synology NAS in here connected. And if you click on this, it will connect to the edge endpoint, and you'll be able to control all of your containers through Portainer here just like so. And when I click on containers here, you can see all of the containers I have running on my Synology NAS that I just connected to. Pretty awesome. If for whatever reason you tried to SSH into your NAS earlier and you couldn't connect to it, it might be because SSH is not enabled on your NAS. In order to do that, it's real simple. You just go into control panel, go into terminal and SNP, and make sure you enable SSH service. And then click apply. Now you know how to connect your Synology NAS to your Portainer host using the Portainer Edge agent. Very easy, much more user-friendly than installing Portainer because installing Portainer on a Synology NAS can be quite the headache, as you've seen in the previous video I did. 
last year. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see on the channel, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if the video helped you out. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that, and I'd love to have you back to watch more videos. We have a small community on Discord. If you want to check that out, links to all that stuff is in the description below. That's going to be it for today, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.